Man, it's cold. 25 degrees this morning, but the sunshine is on the way. So many Arkansans woke up to that so familiar voice for so many years. Over the weekend, we lost legendary radio DJ Bob Robbins at the age of 78. Now, as you can imagine, tributes are pouring in, and this morning, Bob's family is letting us know how you can honor the radio legend. 105 won the wolf where Bob worked posted the news Saturday morning that he died of a heart attack. This morning we know Bob will posthumously receive the Lifetime Achievement Award during the Arkansas Country Music Awards. Bob had hoped to be there in person for the ceremony next month, uh, but of course they're going to honor his legacy. Robbins began in Arkansas at KAAY 1080 AM, but many of us grew up listening to him on Kissin 96. He was there from 1979 until 2013. Robbins was inducted into the Country Radio Broadcasters DJ Hall of Fame in 2008 and named Broadcast Personality of the Year in 1996. Family friend Danny Joe Crawford tells us Bob helped launch the careers of some of the biggest names on radio. You know, anybody and everybody that's in country music, they came through the doors at Kissin' and saw Bob Robbins. Uh, Garth Brooks, George Strait, Reba McIntyre, all of them. They all know Bob Robbins. I mean, he is country music. He was, but beyond the radio, Bob loved helping children. In fact, he just accomplished 50 years of Toy Hill, the annual Toys for Tots drive, helping hundreds of thousands of Arkansas children have a gift for Christmas. He was incredible. Bob told us three years ago it's his most important mission. And this morning we're hearing from his friends who helped organize it each year. You know, I've always said it, it's my goal to make sure every child gets a toy. You know, his radio career speaks for itself, but the Toys for Tots deal is something that he's instilled in all of us. You know, we all work together, but Bob honestly was the, the leader of the pack and he could just do things. You, d you never realized everything that Bob did because he did it smoothly and he didn't brag about it. Now Bob is survived by his wife Susan of 45 years along with his three kids and five grandchildren. Instead of flowers, his family is asking people to donate toys. You can drop them off at Rodney's Cycle House at 8120 Doyle Springs Road in Little Rock or at the iHeart Radio Studios at Shackelford Crossing between 10 and 2 and you can drop those off on weekdays as well. Kissin was where I first heard Bob Robbins and learned to love country mm -hmm. music. Oh, sure. He could, he knew everybody in the business in the industry. And of course, they probably knew him. But as you know, he was just a wonderful personality who was just as real on the radio yeah. as he was off. I, I mean, used to be missed. drive in from Russellville to Little Rock every single day, and that, that's a terrible drive <laughs> yes, for anyone yes, that, that makes it weekly. Uh, but listening to Bob mm -hmm. and, and Jennifer Trafford, uh, Barry yeah. Kissin back yeah. in the day, yeah. just made that drive so much better. I couldn't imagine doing mm -hmm. it without him. He just put you in a good mood, made you yes. feel better about it being 7 a.m. on a Monday morning. Absolutely. Sucking traffic. Yes, do you have a memory? Hey, oh, I do. I correlated with my childhood. Yes. It's like in the 90s, too, we all talked about it. We didn't have, you know, iPods or anything like <laughs> right. that. You put it on the radio, and right. you put it on Bob Robbins every yes. single morning. And, you know, when I heard the news on Saturday morning, he had passed. I, You know, I, I really had to sit there and go, golly, it just it tore me up for a little bit because mm -hmm. you think mm -hmm. of how special he was and the impact that he had, just not with his voice, but with his actions. Mm -hmm. And you Absolutely. can see that from uh, the toys that he's given to so many children. And uh, it's a legend and he's gone. He is a legend in Arkansas and f so far beyond because when you know the industry, it's a small industry mm -hmm. and people know who each other are. But we want to go to break though and as we do, we're going to leave you with Bob's own words when he signed off Kiss in 96. This was back in 2013. For the sweetest folks I know in the world, for all of our friends in Kissing Country, this song is for y'all. 